With the increase in the data exchange between network channels, the need to understand data exchange process becomes a necessity. But through which mode does exactly the network performs the sharing of data? This is what we will discuss in this session on Selective Repeat ARQ protocol. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the schedule for today's topic. To begin with, we will do a quick recap of sliding window protocol which forms a basis of selective repeat ARQ protocol. Then we will look into some details regarding the selective repeat ARQ protocol. Moving forward, we will also look into some important points regarding the protocol. Next we have the steps involved in the working of the SRP protocol. As for the end topic, we will look into difference between the selective repeat ARQ protocol and go back in ARQ protocol. Let's begin with the first topic that is recap. Sliding window protocol is a method to share multiple data frames at a time in a network channel. The frames shared in the network are based on window size assigned beforehand in the network model. The window size is indicated by capital N in sliding window protocol and its counterparts. Let's take a look at the next point. Each of the frames are assigned a sequence number for transfer of frame and also to achieve more efficiency. If you want to look further into the topic sliding window protocol, you can visit our video on the same with the link in the description box. Now, let's move on to the next heading for the session. And the next heading is what is selective repeat ARQ protocol? For the first point in selective repeat ARQ protocol, we have is the working principle. The working principle of the SRP protocol is based on sliding window protocol and it uses a buffer system for storing either at the center side or the receiver side during the data transmission. Let's move on to the next point for selective repeat ARQ. The term ARQ in the protocol defines the automatic repeat request process that is designed to perform the task of sending the next frame for each of the acknowledged frame. Now, let's move on to the next heading. Next heading is important points about the protocol. For the first point we have is the value of n that represents the window size is same for both sides. That is, the value of sender size is equal to the window size of the receiver side. Let's take a look at the next point. In case of selected repeat ARQ protocol, as the name suggests, in case the frame is not received by the receiver side or the acknowledge is not received by the sender side, as shown in the diagram. In this case, the mentioned frame is to be retransmitted without affecting any other frame. Let's move on to the next point for this heading. In case the frame is not received by the receiver side, then it will share a negative acknowledgement signal to the sender side so that it can retransmit the damaged frame. This point forms the basis of the working process involved in the SRP protocol. So please take a note of this point. Now let's move forward with the working of the protocol. We'll divide the working process of the SRP protocol in multiple steps for better understanding. Let's move on for the first step. 
To begin with, we have a sender side and the receiver side as usual. Then we have a sequence of numbers and a window size. Now, for the second step, let's send the first data frame that is frame 0. Next is frame 1, frame 2, and frame 3. These four frames are sent for the beginning because our window size is 4. And a sliding window appears from sequence number 0 to sequence number 3. After the receiver side have received the sender side's frames, it will acknowledge the first frame, that is frame 0, and send the acknowledgement signal to the sender side. After the sender side receives the first acknowledgement signal, it will again share the next frame in the sequence, that is frame number 4. And the sliding window will shift from frame 0 to 3 to 1 to 4. Now similarly, let's acknowledge frame number 1 from the receiver side to the sender side. And the sender side will share the next frame in the sequence, that is frame number 5 to the receiver side. And the sliding window will shift from frame 1 to 4 to sequence number 2 to 5. Now, let's acknowledge frame number 2. Okay, now let's assume that frame number 2 is lost or corrupted during the transmission. In this case, if we apply go back in ARQ protocol, all the frames sent after frame number 2 are to be retransmitted. That will be frame number 2, 3, 4 and 5. But in case of SRP protocol that is selective repeat ARQ protocol, only the frame that is lost during transmission is to be retransmitted. That means the acknowledgement signal for frame number 3 will be sent from the receiver side to the sender side. And the sender side will then retransmit frame number 2 to the receiver side. This process of retransmitting only the lost frame is known as the selective repeat ARQ protocol. And similarly, we will acknowledge the next frame that is frame number 4. And send the next frame that will be frame number 6. As you can see, in this process of SRP protocol, the sliding window or the window size clearly does not play any particular role. With the completion of this slide, we are done with the whole working steps involved in the SRP protocol. Now let's move on to the next heading in the video. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1,000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. The next heading in this session is difference between selected repeat ARQ protocol and go back in ARQ protocol. Let's take a look. For the first point we have, in go back in RQ protocol, it does not require a large amount of memory as it does not provide the buffer feature for the network model. Whereas in case of selective repeat ARQ protocol, it requires a buffer system so the memory needed is more on both the sides, that is the sender side and the receiver side. Now let's move on to the next point. All the frames after the lost frame in go back in RQ protocol are to be retransmitted, as we already discussed in the earlier slide. Whereas in case of selective repeat ARQ protocol, only the damaged or the lost frame is to be retransmitted. Let's take a look at some other points too. In go back in RQ protocol, too many retransmission frames are required. So the efficiency of the overall model is very low. And in case of SRP protocol, the retransmission frames is less. So the efficiency of the overall model is increased. Let's take a look at the last point for the difference. The bandwidth required for go back in RQ protocol is too high due to the more retransmission frames. 
As for SIP protocol, moderate bandwidth requirement is needed. With the completion of difference between SRP protocol and go back in our queue protocol, we are completed with this session. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.